Greetings everyone. So we recently heard that the MonsterVerse will be continuing in 2024. And I wanted to give a little bit of my thoughts on that before I launch into a full-length video covering my extensive opinion of the MonsterVerse. It's a bit mixed, but right now, just for the visceral reaction, um, I do have concerns that the Godzilla franchise will be used by Hollywood to kind of turn into a kaiju version of the MCU. I have not actually watched most of the MCU films, but I've watched plenty of reviews and seen audience comments everywhere because there's a bunch of nerds in my feed. So I have seen the reactions to the MCU films and I've seen that they're not very high quality. They're not very respectful to their own source material and their own content. So that does concern me with Godzilla because although I am thankful for the legendary films for broadening Godzilla's reach, especially in the West, and making him something even more of a household name, and also just revitalizing the franchise after the hiatus in the 2000s, I am concerned that with the content we've gotten from the MonsterVerse, with Legendary's uh, films lately, specifically the Godzilla ones, um, I'm just not very happy with the storylines or the character handling. The plots were pretty ridiculous, at least in King of the Monsters and Godzilla vs. Kong, and it could have been handled better. Um, and I'm not the one making the films. I'm just a fan stating my observations that the legendary films don't seem to be very respectful to the source and to Godzilla's roots. And Godzilla doesn't have to be humdrum, sad, and depressing all the time, but I would like to see a bit more of a serious take. My concern with the MonsterVerse films is that the way the directors look at Godzilla is the same way that a lot of other Americans look at Godzilla, as something of a joke, something to be treated lightly, to kind of mess around with, it's funny, it's cute, it's kid-friendly, and Godzilla has been that in the past in the Showa series, but you also have to keep in mind that during that period, the Toho company did not have very large or substantial bu budgets to um, fund these movies, and they were kind of jumping on the kid-friendly trend back in those days so that they could stay alive. So while Godzilla does have that history, you have to kind of look at the context behind why he had that history, and now we have huge budgets to do whatever we want. The visuals look great. There are pluses to these films. But I am always concerned with treating an IP with the respect it deserves when it comes to what it was intended to be for the world, what it represents, and are we maintaining that integrity? The MonsterVerse has done some good for the Godzilla name, and it has, as I mentioned, broadened the fan base. But I am a bit concerned that maybe fans are too willing to have new Godzilla material, that they're willing to excuse low quality, um, low quality stories, low quality um, symbols that Godzilla is because Godzilla is a little bit more than just slinging fists around and I think that the monster action is awesome. I actually enjoyed that in Godzilla vs. Kong and King of the Monsters. Definitely have some kaiju action, have some stunning visuals if you can pair that with a good story too and give the characters and the monsters personalities and explore a deeper topic. That's all I want from these films, and they sadly didn't deliver. For a lot of people, these films are fine. They're good enough. I'm a little more <laughs> picky with uh, my content, and I kind of felt like I wasted my time when I watched them. And I haven't watched any of them except for King of the Monsters like more than once. So I'm not terribly excited about this news, and who knows if they're actually going to be using Godzilla in this MonsterVerse continuation. I've heard rumors maybe Son of Kong instead. Don't know, but if they're going to be continuing this, and there is going to be a TV show on Apple TV or something, honestly, I haven't looked much into it because it's not really up my alley, but if there is going to be continuation, I hope that it doesn't just evolve into pure silliness. A little silliness is good. We need some levity. But if it's just silliness, uh, I don't know. But you guys let me know what you think of the news in the comments. What do you think they're going to be making, and are you excited about that? Thanks for watching, guys, and may the geek be with you.